Whew, okay, 31%, 3 hours, 53 minutes, it's looking good. Okay. Oh my god, hey guys, welcome back to more Kirby's Epic Yarn, I'm so excited! It's been like two weeks, I've been on a two week hiatus. And you guys don't even want to know the crap that I went through in this past two weeks, both good and bad. Holy crap, it's been a crazy two weeks, and I'm finally back, man. I'm back to making videos again. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited, because I'm on spring break, yes! Okay, so anyways, with me being on spring break now, we're, we're still in uh, Treat Land here. And we got uh, Melody Town's next level. Okay, so what, uh, okay, so I haven't played this in a couple weeks, let's take a look at our progress right here. It's, a uh, okay. Okay, so I need to go back to Sweets Park and get a gold ranking, so I'm gonna do that off-screen. And we're missing a treasure and mushroom run. Huh. Okay, so, yeah, I still need to do that. Ugh. You know what, for Treat Land, I'm just gonna wait, you, you know what, just screw it. For Treat Land, I'm gonna wait until the end of the world to, you know, go back and get the get all the treasures. How about that? You can't stop me. You know what, you just can't stop me. Because I'm just going to jump into Melody Town right now and you guys can't stop me. Okay, so this is Melody Town. Melody Town is a beautiful level. Oh my god, watch this. Just like, just so much cool stuff like that. Like you bounce on these instruments and they make different sounds. And as they make sounds, these musical notes with beats in them come out. And like, it's just such an amazing level. Even now, I couldn't tell you how they pulled this off. Like, this game is six years old, and they pulled this crap off. Actually, no. Then again, they did have they did have pre pretty good technology back in 2010. I mean, like, it's not that not that dated, but still, it's just it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's so this level just still leaves me speechless this very day, man. I just I couldn't tell you at all. I know I don't need a ground pound for the get those notes out, but still, this is, this level is just amazing. It is outstanding the kind of stuff they did in this level. Okay, so this right here, you need to control Kirby to get the beads. So you go up and down. If you get all of them, you'll get a crystal star, which is very nice because, yeah, as you guys remember from the last episode, I, I screwed, screwed myself out of getting bronze rank, I think, for the first time, I think, in this LP. Actually, I don't remember if that is the first time this LP. I'm pretty sure it is, but yeah. Just, overall, it's very frustrating, and I really want that star patch up there, so I'm gonna get it. You guys can't stop me. I don't know why you would, because you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys would all, would agree with me when you get half percent in this game, so yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Nothing gonna stop me. Hey, look at this. We got ourselves our first treasure down here. Alright! Toy piano. This piano may look like a toy, but it really has a solid tone. Yes. And it can be yours for just $19.95, plus shipping and handling. Okay, not really. So, um, yeah, actually, I almost thought that I was going to go down the pit, but I guess it doesn't. It's like, no, not into the pit! It burns, and it's full of Angie, and she takes away your beads because she's a jackass! No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I mean, it's nice of her to save Kirby's life, but what the hell? You gotta steal beads for saving someone's life? I mean, imagine that, if someone, like, was to charge you for saving your life. Like, what the hell? The only place I can think of that does that is hospitals. Like, what the hell? Medical bills and crap. Okay. Enough talking about what you don't understand, man. You just don't understand. You just don't get it. But yeah, it's just it's ridiculous, man. Okay. So I'm gonna go all the way up to this trumpet. And we're going to... Oh, do this again. Oh, crap. I almost forgot. Yeah. It's a little tricky. It's a little easier to miss crap here because of the way it's angled in some parts. But there we go. We did, we did again. We got, a, got ourselves a crystal star. You got a crystal star! Actually, no, getting crystal stars in this game is nowhere near as exciting as it is in Paper Mario 2, but... Yeah, we're not playing that game. And I would've missed this treasure if I was to progress onward after that, yeah. I had a feeling there's something back here. There we go. This is the cleft tree. This tree plays a melody when you shake it. Just try not to overdo it, however. Will do, will do. So yes, I am on spring break this week, um, from March 21st through March 25th. That's my spring break from school, it's one week. So after that, I start spring quarter, and it's going to be my last quarter in the dorms. And then after that, my friends, I'm going to get my first apartment. I actually signed the lease for that thing just today as I'm recording. So I'm recording this on Friday the 18th. I signed my lease for my very first apartment today. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. I'm going to be moving in there on uh, the 8th of June. Uh, I probably shouldn't say 
too much information on here, but yeah, that's my that's my move-in date. But I'm just gonna, not gonna give any more details on that. Just the fact that I'm moving it, moving into my apartment, my first apartment ever on June 8th, and yes, I'm gonna be by, my, by myself. I mean, my, my parents will be there to help me, obviously, but I'm gonna be living there by myself. It's a little studio apartment, basically. So I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I've been I've been dreaming of this very day, this very opportunity for years now at least years i don't know how long how many years but several years at least since like i don't know 2011 2010 all you know is for the longest time i've always wanted to have my own place and i'm finally that dream is finally coming true in june this year it's just it's crazy it's gonna be hard yeah but still it's doable i think it's very doable you know because i have a job it's not like i'm broke or anything i can i can do it but it's gonna be hard, sure. I mean, especially considering it's my... It's not an actual job, it's a side job that I'm depending on to pay for. And I don't... Honestly, I don't make enough revenue on YouTube to even depend on that at all, to be honest. In fact, actually, under my assumption, I'm making no money at all on YouTube because... You know, it, I guess that'll help me out in the long run. Because if I assume that I'm not making any, no, any money on YouTube, then the little money that I do make will help out a lot, I guess. I don't know. Because, again, I don't make that much. I never did make that much. I mean, like, there probably was times I was making... There was a time where I was making a little more than I am now, but again, I'm never going to disclose how much I'm making exactly on YouTube. Okay. So. But yeah, that's basically the good of this, you know, my the events in my life lately. is me getting, getting the apartment and whatnot. Oh, crap. I'm actually missing Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I got it. Okay, I got it. And that's probably the end of the level, isn't it? I have a bad feeling. Yes, that is. And I just missed a CD. I missed a CD, man. What the hell? I missed the freaking CD. Can I go back? I want to go back, actually. I want to go back and see if I get the CD. I always miss a freaking treasure. I always do. And I feel... Oh, crap, 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 crap. You gotta do this. Why you gotta do this to me, game? Why? No, that's not the game's doing it to me. It's me. I did this to myself. What the hell, man? I totally did this to myself. Okay, whatever. We'll be happy with this. Whatever. Just whatever, man. Still a great level. I wouldn't... I don't mind that I have to do it again, honestly. So that's two levels I have to return to on screen to pick up two treasures, and then I have to have to do the other level off screen to get the gold rain, even though it's not really necessary for 100%, but still I'm still going to do it. The only thing that matters actually is that you get metal at all, but still, I need to, still need to do that. God, that CD, man! Are we going to bring back this cliche of me not getting the CD? What the hell, man? Okay. Let's see what the, uh this patch does. Air pump patch. Of course, it makes a pumpkin appear. What else were you expecting? And that pumpkin, my friends, is the boss. Squashini. Okay, so it's not a pumpkin, it's a squash. What the well, a pumpkin's a type of squash, isn't it? I'm so stupid. Okay, folks, so I guess we're going to fight the boss this level I, I, in this episode. I didn't think we were going to, but yeah, we are, because that's the only thing that's next. We still have the bonus levels after this, and then that's when I go back and go back and do stuff. So, Yes, my friends, we're about to do it. We're going to go and fight the boss. We had boss right now, Squashini, the boss of Treatland. He looks pretty messy, doesn't he? He looks like a magician. I'm a magician! Sorry, I reference a YTP there. If you know that white to be, you're, you're awesome. This is pretty interesting, actually, because you actually have a slot machine! And I don't think you actually control this. I, did, I certainly didn't control that one, at least. But yeah, Squashini himself appears. So yeah, this is kind of like a... This almost kind of reminds me of the King Boo fight in Super Mario Sunshine, except you actually have an audience here. So yeah, so you don't control it at all, actually. He just, uh... He just kind of... I guess it's just kind of luck is basically how this battle works. Oh god. Oh god. You gotta be very careful here. Wait! Oh crap! <laughs> well, it's a good thing I didn't have any beads there. Okay. Oh crap! You have to figure out which one he's in. That's right! Yeah! Shiza! I probably should pay attention that time. Okay, let's see what we get this time. Oh, cards? I forgot what the cards are. I have a bad feeling about this though. Oh shoot, that's right, he cuts you with them, doesn't he? He tries to- Yeah, freaking A, he cuts, he cuts you with them. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, I'm doing terrible. 
I mean, it's a good thing I don't have any beads yet. Like, man, I'd be losing left and right here if I did. Like the, oh, God. I guess I forgot how you're supposed to dodge that. Well, there you go, right there. That's one way, I suppose. Okay. I dodged the last set. That's good. Okay. I think you're going to want to get that crystal star, though, at least a few times to so get the beads that you need. Okay, what's this? Okay, so now he's got this, uh... Oh, God. Wait, why did the controls come... Okay, whatever. Oh, God, he's going to throw bombs! Ah! Oh, God, he's going to throw bombs. Oh, God. Can you grab those? I think you can grab them, actually, and then throw them at him, and then you'll be able to get beads out of that. I don't know if that counts as an efficient hit, though. I don't know, though. I'm just guessing. Okay, back to the hat. Okay, so now I need to pay attention to where he is. Like, which hat he's under, right? Let's find out. Wait. How do you tell? Uh, is this one? Wait. I'm gonna guess this one. Oh, son of a bitch! Okay, so how do you how do you know which one he's in, actually? Dang. This episode's probably really frustrating for you guys to watch. I can already tell. Alright, man. Cards. Uh, I'm not interested in playing Magic, sir. Not interested in playing Magic the Gathering. I really am. I'm not actually into card games. Ugh. God, I'm so bad at this. I apologize, everyone. I'm so sorry. Sorry! I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, there we go. Avoid the last set again. Like, I'm just repeating mistakes over here. This, this boss battle actually might take a while. We might actually have ourselves a full episode here. Okay, so we got the flag again. Oh, yeah, that means a bomb, right? Yeah. A bomb! Freaking King Koopa from Super Mario Bros. movie. Like, dude, you ain't gonna re-reference that, are you? Oh, sh Yep, you can! You can grab it! Okay, let's okay. Get him! Ha! Woo! Got a hit on him, finally! Alright. Getting a little overexcited here, aren't I? Okay, yeah, so we got a hit on him. That, that already got some to silver. Dang. Six, maybe we only did... Eh? Oh, shoot. What does this mean? What is? this... Oh, God, I just remember this one. I just remember this one. I don't remember what you're supposed to do, but... You're actually strapped to a bomb, and you have to ravel yourself out and ring the bell, I think, actually, is what you need to do. Oh, God. Wait. No, no, no. No, actually, uh... Wait, how do you escape? Crap, 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 you little cuckoo poo, poo How do you escape? Oh, God! Oh, God! Okay, okay, just as long as you're not in range of it. Okay, okay. I was actually worried there. Alright. I thought there was some way he had to, like, stop it from exploding. Okay, this again. Uh, yeah, for life me, I don't know how to get this. Uh, it's just the one that is on the bottom, maybe? Maybe that's the one I need to be watching or something. I don't know. Nope, that's not it either. Crap. Okay, so... You gotta figure out what the pattern is to that one quickly. At least I didn't take a hit there. At least I'm somewhat... I'm improving a little bit, at least. Okay, some cards again. Oh, God, cards! Why cards? Okay, so we need to get as far as way as possible, right? Yes, okay. That oh, crap! Yeah, I know you're supposed to get, like, in front of those or something. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Uh, Okay, okay. Okay, just like that. Oh. Woo, okay, I managed to dodge them the second time around. Okay. Alright, alright, we're doing alright right now, but... I don't know, man. It's too late to... too early to judge. Okay, the bomb again. Okay, this is how we get the hit on him. That's the only way I know of to get the hit on him, because I can't figure out that hat... that hat segment. Okay, so... Yeah, go ahead. Drop your bombs. bombs. Shoot! Okay, okay. Just grab one. Grab one. Get him! Wait. Okay, well, at least he's not done yet. I still need... Somehow I need to get I need to get that secret patch. So how do I do that? Okay, just grab the beat over there, whatever. Okay, now we got the rope. Yeah, but the only way to get beads out of this one is when you um, ring the bell. So all right, so we'll just escape as quickly as we can. <laughs> I like how he's freaking out over his own bomb. Like, like just look at, or maybe it's just just the fact that we're escaping. But still, like, just look at him. Like he's making a face like he's scared or something. 
Okay, okay, we got the bonus patch. Nice. Now we just need to hold on to it till the end. That might be a little, a little more challenging. A little difficult said than done. Or done than said. God. Eh. The hat! Okay, the hat! My arch nemesis, the hat. Okay, is it the top one then? Because I don't know. I don't know how you're, how you're able to tell. How can you tell? Okay, let's just focus on top one then. Oh god. Uh. Oh, I got him! Woo! I got him! I got him with the hat! Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? That the last hit I got in on him was the hat segment. Jeez, the one I was struggling on the most. Jeez, that was actually pretty nice. Not only that, but we also managed to get the bonus patch. Nice, on the first try. Although I'm pretty sure we did that with Hot Wings as well. So hey, actually, this is a pretty good episode. Yeah, we, uh... You know, we got ourselves a... Oh, yeah, squashing music, obviously. Cookie patch, yes. So I guess next episode, we'll be taking on the bonus levels. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Kirby and Fluff came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to contain himself, but failed. He dove right in and started gobbling up the cake. I declare a cake-eating duel. And with that, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Whoa! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed with them inside it. Oh, I can't eat another bite. Prince Fluff moaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then, Kirby appeared with a huge cherry in his mouth. Whoop! Kirby won the contest, and a looming tummy ache as well. You know, I always knew that Kirby had a massive appetite, but this really takes the cake. Aww. Yep, you knew it was coming. And you also probably knew what was coming up next as t in terms of what the next world is because, well, we just saw it in the cutscene there. But yes, your greatest fears have been realized. It is indeed the water level that's next. But we're not quite going there yet because we got two more bonus level episodes. Two more bonus levels. I mean, not episodes, but... And that will be happening next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn. So next time we're going to Coco Station and whatever the second bonus level is, because we'll be—I'm pretty sure we'll have time to do that as well. But you can probably imagine by the fact that the station, there's station in the tile, the to tile the level that—that that means that we're probably going to be doing the train again. So yay on that! Whether or not you like that, you know, particular transformation or not, I'm, I personally don't mind it, but it is—it does get pretty annoying sometimes. So. Anyway, see you guys next time for more Kirby's Epic Yarn. Thank you, goodbye. And again, I'm so sorry about this two-week hiatus. But again, you know, these, these, these things happen when, when stuff comes up. But, you know, the main reason behind it was the fact that, you know, I had school finals coming up, so I had to, you know, focus my entire attention on academics, you know. So. It's a legit reason, nonetheless. But, you know, again, I still shouldn't leave you guys hanging because I know I didn't give a good notice that that, that, that was going to happen. So I should do that next time, so. Alright, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.